where we learn about and celebrate Black history. My name is Kimberly and I am your host. And these are my friends, Coco and CJ. Today, we are going to look at an exhibit of Ruby Bridges, a little girl who was the first African-American child to integrate schools in America. Now you might be thinking, integrate? What does that mean? Well, you're gonna find out right now. And this is a special tour because Coco and CJ are going to be your guides. Are you ready? Are you ready? Then let's go! This is Ruby Bridges. She was born in Tylertown, Mississippi in 1954. She had four younger siblings, and like all kids, she loved to play. She enjoyed playing softball, jump rope, and climbing trees. I like to do those things too. Me too. When Ruby was four years old, her family moved to New Orleans, Louisiana for a better life. At that time, America was segregated. To be segregated means to be separated by race. African Americans were treated very unfairly and they did not have equal rights. Children with brown skin like mine were not allowed to go to school with children with lighter skin. And the children with lighter skin had much better schools than the children with brown skin. It wasn't fair. In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation in schools in America was wrong and it had to stop. All children were allowed to go to school together and get the education they all deserve. There were a lot of schools that were not happy about this new law. The schools in New Orleans didn't want African American children to go to their schools. So, the Orleans Parish School Board prepared a test for 150 kindergartners to take. They said, if these African American children can pass this test, then that will mean they are smart enough to go to our school. But they made the test really hard, and they made it really hard on purpose. But what they didn't know was that Ruby Bridges was really smart, and she passed the test. And on November 14, 1960, Ruby was the first African-American child to attend William France Elementary School. Now that's what I'm talking about. On her very first day of school, Ruby had to be escorted by federal marshals because there were crowds of angry people who didn't want an African-American child at the school. The federal marshals had to protect her as she walked past all those people who were shouting awful things at her. I would have been scared, but Ruby didn't let those mean people stop her from going into the school to get an education. Ruby was the only student in her classroom because parents didn't want their kids in the same class with her, and teachers refused to teach her, all because the color of her skin was brown. But there was one teacher who wanted to teach Ruby. Her name was Barbara Henry, and she flew all the way from Boston, Massachusetts, just so that she could teach Ruby. Ruby did not let other people's hatred stop her from getting an education. She went to school every single day that year, and she worked hard. She became good friends with her teacher, Barbara Henry, and even today, as an adult, she's still friends with her. That's right. Today, Ruby Bridges has launched the Ruby Bridges Foundation, and she started an after-school program in the same elementary school that she attended as a child called the Multicultural Art Club. I sure did. I used my experience to show kids that racism has no place in hearts and minds and that they should never judge people by the color of their skin. I shared my message with students all around the world to encourage them and to inspire them to work hard for their education. 
and that education is a right for everyone. Education is a right. Education is a right. Education is free. Education is free. Education, is free. education for you. Education is a right. Education is a right. Education is mine. Education is mine. Education is a right. Education is a right. Education is yours. Education is yours. So come on and walk through that open door. Oh, education is a right. Well, friends, that's all we have time for today. This tour has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Welcome to the Black History Museum. And I hope Ruby Bridges' story inspired you to keep studying and being the best that you can be. If you would like to know more about Ruby Bridges, you can read some books about her by clicking the links in the description below. To tune in to next week's episode where we will continue to study and celebrate Black history. And remember, you don't have to wait until February to celebrate Black history. At the Black History Museum, we celebrate Black history every day because Black, Black history, history is American history. history.